Hey guys, welcome back to the Fragrance Wardrobe. I'm Michael, and it has been a moth, and it has been uh, a little bit since I put up a video. I've been really busy, um, some stuff going on, also renov renovating the kitchen. So, I'm trying to get back into it now since all that's about pretty much done. I thought we'd go ahead and start with a weekly rotation. What did I wear last week while renovating a kitchen? And this is, I believe, like week nine, and I missed week eight. So we're skipping a week. Yeah. And I might, if you guys want to see it, um, my recap of February, I never filmed that. So like I did with January, if you want me to do that, comment, let me know, and I'll recap that. Okay, so last Sunday, first day of the week, I started out with, if you've been watching my channel, you saw my last video from Icon de Parfum, one of their new ones. I wore Mill Avenue right there. Boom. This one is fantastic and don't mind the Wonder Woman band-aid on my middle finger, my favorite finger. Uh, there we go. This one, I've worn like I think three or four times now. So week eight, which would have been week eight, I wore this like two or three days in a row because I like it so much. This is Icon de Parfum's take on a blue style fragrance. You have watermelon, I believe cedar in here. And the really cool thing, you get that blue uh, mass appealing style with a little bit of a twist because you have watermelon in there and there's not like that ambroxan bomb that comes along with it like you get with Sauvage. So really, really cool fragrance. Great job, Icon de Parfum. And you guys can get this for like, I think it's something like $35, $40. And for you guys who've been asking, wondering if they do discovery kits, well, now they do. You can actually get a discovery kit with all of their men's offerings in five mil glass decants, nice five mil decants. And I believe it's like $24.99. So you could try everything they have and probably buy most of what they have because they make some good stuff. Okay, on Monday, uh, after going blue on Sunday, I decided I want to go blue again. So I almost thought I was going to do like an entire week of blue style fragrances. I did not, but this is what I wore on Monday. Blue de Chanel. This is the EDT. This is like the like the, the king of blue style fragrances. This is where it all started. Everybody's copying them. Nice atomizer. Really nice opening. The grapefruit is done very well in here. You do have ambroxan in here as well. And it's all in all a mass appealing fragrance with that ambroxan, that citrus, fruity, grapefruit opening is really nice. Uh, you can't really go wrong with Blue de Chanel. Uh, I know some people don't like it or think it's played out, but hey, there's nothing wrong with wearing it here and there because you might get a taste for it like I did. On Tuesday, I went blue again. I couldn't help myself. I went with one I haven't worn in quite a while, but it is one of those blue style fragrances that I do enjoy quite a bit. And it's Salvatore Ferragamo Womo Urban Feel. So Urban Feel is, I think, pretty much the one that does not have a noticeable coffee note in the Womo line. Atomizer, good. And there's that scent. This one, you're going to get much more of like a hairspray type of scent with it. And there's a reason why hairspray smells the way it does, because it smells good. So you do kind of get that with Urban Life or urban feel I'm sorry and you don't have the coffee accord or note that you have in Womo signature or even casual life so I think it's a pretty true blue fragrance okay Wednesday is one that I've been meaning to pull out now for a couple of weeks and I finally did it's from authenticity perfumes barbershop one of my favorite barbershop style fragrances. Good atomizer. Oh man, that smells really good. Authenticity makes some just absolutely great fragrances. I have everything they make and 
I like everything they make. Now there's stuff that I like more than others, but for the most part, I think everything they make is quality. You have a 50% oil concentration in this one. You're getting 12 plus hours of performance, longevity, great projection, and this one is a little bit different than most barbershops where most are going to be like aromatic style, usually like aromatic fougeres. This one is not aromatic, it's creamy. So you have that lavender barbershop feel to it with it being creamy instead of aromatic. Now, this one also does not list lavender in it, but I feel like, I guess the notes mix a certain way to where I pick it up and it's a really nice appealing scent. Thursday, I decided to switch gears and go green for the rest of the week. So we're going blue and green. In Texas, uh, the beginning of March is springtime. I know for some of you guys up north, you still have snow. We don't. That got out of here a couple weeks ago. And the weather's absolutely warming up. Things are blooming outside. You know, it's Texas weather. So I went with one that I've been really waiting to bust out in the spring. Love this scent. First smelled it at Scent Explore, and it's from Wilhelm Perfumery Morning Chest. You've got the magnetic cap there. Really nice bottle design. I like that. And the atomizer. Very good. Yeah, the atomizer on these, better than good. It's extremely good. Uh, with this one, you're going to pick up that green scent, almost like maybe like a European meadow or something like that. Grassy, but it's also smoky. So you're getting that green and the smoke, and I feel like it's really uh, unique. I don't think I have any other green style fragrances that are smoky. This one is. It plays phenomenally. It's, it's just a really well done fragrance. If you haven't tried it out already, Get yourself a decant. I think you'll like it if you like green and you like smoke. And on Friday, I went green again. This one, you probably saw my blue green haul. It's origami from Loe. Wait, Solo Loe? 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 Something like that. I don't know. But anyway, doesn't get talked about like pretty much by anyone. Um, I saw it on Fragrance Net. I was like, let's give it a try. I'm looking for green. And it did not disappoint. The only thing I dis that disappointed me was I was trying to like yank this cap off and when I did like it doesn't click back into place anymore so I don't know if I did that wrong or what but uh, this one pretty good I think it came out in 2018 and it is truly a green fragrance decent atomizer and with this one you're going to get some of that green grassy maybe hay type of scent but also clean and soapy. So you have a mix of like the, like that natural grassy type of green mixing with the soapiness. So it plays pretty well. I think that makes it a little bit more versatile than something that's just strictly like grassy or something like that, if that makes sense. So really good fragrance for the springtime. Probably going to make my um, spring list, which I'm going to do maybe next week or it probably will make my green list, which I'm also going to probably film this week and drop maybe next week. So be on the lookout for that. And on Saturday, Saturday went niche. And this one, I was first mentioned, it was first mentioned to me by someone in a uh, Instagram group for fragrance people and reviewers. Uh, this one's from Eris uh, Perfumes, I believe it is. And I know it's Eris, maybe perfumes or fragrances, something like that. This one, I do believe came out this year, uh, early 2021, ideal for late spring and all of summer. This is late spring and summer outdoors in a bottle. It's Green Spell, right here. Green Spell is, it's really, really good. It's one of the most natural, um, green style of fragrances that, that I have uh, meaning not only is it not synthetic but the the type of green um, 
accords that they're trying to get you to pick up are going to be very natural very, very much like something that you would smell in the outdoors so it's very very natural good atomizer there it is so this one has a tomato leaf accord it's either an accord or a note I'd say an accord because it all smells like tomato leaf <laughs> so it does have that very well done best tomato leaf accord that I've ever experienced definitely worth the money if you're looking for that type of scent in particular for spring and summer you cannot go wrong with green spell um, it, it, it hits it like right on the money so think tomato plant um, late spring early summer when those things are blooming and the smell of the tomato plant leaves that's what you're getting here it, you smell like that you're going to smell like like a vegetable garden I guess it's it's very niche it's very unique and it's got to be something that you're kind of looking for not going to be for everyone but if you're looking for that type of scent this is one you will at least want to try out okay guys I appreciate you watching the video kept it a little bit shorter this time if you like that format better let me know or if you like me throwing in my out of the shower fragrances and all of that let me know so this way or the old way drop it in the comments let me know and I will oblige all right guys again thank you for watching uh, appreciate it if you saw anything in the video that you like please give it a like give me a comment I'll reply back also if you made it this far you obviously like my content so let's make it official and you go ahead and subscribe to the channel ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when I have a new video coming out and I will catch you guys with the next video. Thanks for watching. Hi, hi.